Hello everyone. I welcome you all to today's session. Today we are going to start class 3 EVS chapter 3. The name of the chapter is The Neighbors of the Earth. In our previous classes, we have studied about the earth. So in this class, today we will be studying about the neighbors of the earth. So before starting the chapter, we will just have a quick revision of earth. As told in your last class that in our solar system there are total 8 planets and our earth is one of them. Our earth is the third planet of the solar system. It is the only planet where you find life. And this is mainly because the earth has water, soil and air. These three elements are very important for the existence of the life. So now let's begin with the neighbors of the earth. The sun, the moon and the stars are the neighbors of the earth. We will study about them one by one. So let's start. The sun. The sun is a star. It's a big hot star. It's a huge ball of hot fire and burning gases. The sun is in the center of the solar system and all the other planets revolve around the sun. As you can see in the diagram, other planets are revolving around the sun. The sun forms an important source of all the energy. Sun gives you light and sun gives you heat. The energy that is obtained from the sun are called solar energy this energy is are of various uses the plants also use this energy to prepare this their food this is all about sun now we'll talk about moon moon is a natural satellite of the earth which revolves around the earth we can see that every day the shape of the moon is changing in real this is not true it seems so because of the rotation and the revolution process there are some nights when we cannot see the moon in the sky that night is called new moon day or amavasya in contrast to this there are some nights when you see full moon that night is called full moon day or purnima unlike the earth the moon has no air and water therefore therefore you will not find any life on the moon the moon also don't have its own light it reflects the light of the sun now that's all for the moon now next Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. From our childhood, we are wondering what star are. So, let us know about them. The twinkling bright heavenly bodies that we find in the sky at night, they are nothing but the stars. The stars of various sizes. Some stars are even bigger than the sun but they appear to be very small in size because they are very far from the earth The brightest stars among all the stars is in the northern direction and that star is called pole star We find some stars are in groups They form some patterns or figures This can be a figures of animals people and so on such patterns are called constellations there are few examples of constellations like orion ursa major cassiopeia and so on now that's all about the neighbors of the earth hope you have understood the chapter and you have find the chapter interesting thank you